Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, it's a wonderful morning here in Smithville Dam. And today we will be doing something special. I've been teasing you guys that we will be picking up um, a truck. And that truck is the... What, what's the name of this truck? The White Western Star 4964. Uh, it's special because compared to the rest of the trucks in the game, well, that I found so far, this one actually requires you to re to attract it, to actually winch it back all the way back to the, the parking. Now, that's pretty difficult just because it's in a very bad spot. The rain here is really not conducive to this kind of shenanigans. And... I mean, even if you get it on this island, right, which I guess this might be a better route and road for it, you still have to do this horrible climb here. I mean, it's there's no easy way to get this out. Uh, my route is going to try to be this. I've already kind of scouted it when I came in here, and it's reasonable. Not fully certain uh, how it'll go with the full load. I'm using the Fleet Star. Uh, we need the pulling power for this. I mean, if we are going to be in a situation where we're going to be pulling dead weight behind us because I'm not repairing it, uh, then uh, for sure I want the maximum pulling power that I have available right now with my trucks. Uh, that said, let's uh, get this out. I'm worried about it catching onto onto some uh, stuff. That's my major worry, to be fair. Yeesh. This is handbrake parking on winch going at max. Well, the medium winch, but sure, going at max. And it's kind of barely inching it out. So let's hope our truck will have just enough uh, juice to pull this out successfully. Also, as a little side note, uh, given that we did hit level 11, uh, we finally unlocked the, the double wheels, double uh, off-road wheels when I'm mistaken, or is it no, double mud wheels, right, double mud wheels for the Paystar, so I'm excited to see how that handles in uh, uh, in the terrain now, because technically uh, what it was uh, using so far was uh, the single fatter tires on the traction wheels on the rear, so using the double wheels like we have on the Fleet Star here should provide a much better uh, success rate for managing mud and actually applying that traction through mud. We shouldn't have the same issues we had last time with uh, failing to apply the power to get through the actual muddy conditions with um, a load in the back. Let's switch this just a tiny bit closer. the best thing to winch exactly when you're fighting both the water and uh, uh, poor traction on slippery rocks but yeah the stream is making a mockery of uh, both of these trucks and that over there is a pile of barrels which we still have a task to get these barrels from the water but we are not going to be doing that right now. I could have brought a winch, to be fair, and uh, and a flatbed, but I thought I needed all my power just to get this out, and... Okay, is that something I cannot break? That's a win. But I was going to say that I... Uh... Yep, that's an unbreakable... Ugh. Because I need all my power to get this out. 
let's drop that. Let's do this, winch this. It's just a bit closer. Yeah, I don't think that will help just because the rear wheels will get stuck exactly in that. Yep, there we go. Let's just force this out. All we really need is for those wheels to scrape. Actually, locked reverse is uh, what we needed there. Now, will that be enough to winch us around? Yep, there we go. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. And there we go. That's clear. Let's uh, head out. feeling that this is a low plus kind of situation, the differential lock. I really kind of would have wanted most of the truck recovery uh, situations to actually be, you know, dragging them back to a parking or at the very least, you know, some place on the map, you know, not just the uh, Just um, recovering it back to the garage, having that as an option. It's not like a, it's not a discussion regarding hardcore versus you know medium core players of uh, SnowRunner. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I'm having a bit of trouble here. We're actually having to drop down to a low minus gear. Yeesh, this is going really gruesomely. The thing is, the weight is so so much on the back here that, it, and the way this is distributed, is that it's pulling the truck, the front of the truck down, and all-wheel drive doesn't do anything if, you, if your wheels aren't touching the ground. So let's see if we can do a little trick here. Let's see if we can pull it. That's gonna, that's gonna be a bit messy, but let's see if we can pull it uh, with uh, an anchor point that's more to the middle of the truck. So that will actually allow us to keep the front wheels on the ground a bit more. Hmm. Okay, there we go. That's something, but that, that's, that's not something we want. Okay, let's uh, handbrake. No, 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 no. Just keep that there. Let's break it loose. Let's, whoa. Yeah, that thing is that heavy. Okay, I don't want you rock climbing. Okay, I know you're a good truck, but I don't want you rock climbing, please. Let's not push that down too much. All we want to do is get our ourselves. Whoa, what's the problem here? Okay, there we go. This is what we wanted. Just get ourselves here. Okay, do I have the winch distance? I do. I mean, barely, but I do. Actually, I think I should probably be doing this. Low plus, differential lock active, handbrake off, and falling. Oh, 
whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you know, might have been a smarter idea just to pull this uh, straight up through here. I mean, that seems like something that would work out better than trying to do this very bad turn here. Either way, uh, we now have a stalled engine with a flipped truck, which does not bode well. Uh, is there anything I can do? Any tricks I can pull? I don't think so. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's pause this for a second, and let me get my uh, paystar out here. Welcome back, guys, and we have the paystar out here. Uh, we dropped it down through that uh, ditch we saw earlier. It's not the best, to be fully honest, but uh, it is what we have. Now, we have this little thing that goes up here, this little pad, which probably goes up to this uh, power line, uh, which may be just a better option for us altogether. I mean, I, I could, you could totally see there's this little drawn path here, which I kind of totally avoided. Uh, so, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, for sure, it would be helpful to have to drag it out here. First things first, so let's get that. Let's get ourselves in a better position. Let's winch this. Okay, of course that got stuck in some tree. We don't care. Come on, more pulling. Although it's pulling the wrong thing. Yeah, okay. That was the maximum power of the winch, so let's use the power of the engine right now. Break this down. Let's drop that winch. <sighs> you know, I'm thinking maybe, maybe just maybe we can pull this through here. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's just give it a shot. It's probably gonna be. At the very least, I know this route. I don't know what's up there. Maybe it's some very deep mud mirror. It's horribly rocky. At the very least, I know how bad this is. Let's pull this in just a bit closer. Not too close. And yeah, I know I still have my fleet star tipped over. But... That I can recover to the garage without any issues. But there we go. We have some problems here in regards to rocks. And it's not a problem for me, it's a problem for um, the White Western Star. See, I'm inching it. I just wanted to get past whatever. There we go. Whatever tiny rock it was getting stuck on. And I'm just gonna continue pulling it. We are basically right now we're just stuck and wasting fuel. But as long as we're inching that thing out, yeah, let's uh, move ourselves a bit out. Just ever so slightly bit more. Winch. And pull. We have a huge rock under us. Which I think it's smarter just to avoid if we can. That is 
exactly won't be easy, but there we go. And we can push out the way with the wheel a bit. Oh god, it doesn't help that that is now on a terribly big rock. Let's get ourselves in a better position here. These rocks are indeed my nemesis. Let's not get too far. I think we are already out of winch range here. But I kind of want to get myself safe. enough? Yeah, not by far. Hmm. Yeah, no. I actually have to go all the way back into the ditch for this. Let's see if we can find the plus zero a better position to pull this from. Without tipping over, because it's gonna be really shameful. That's enough. Let's pull the left side. Oh, crap. Just needs a bit more. There we go. Let's power the winch through. I would have uh, brought the uh, fleet star through here, but given the mucky terrain and the new upgrade to the pace star in regards to uh, wheels, I thought that maybe we would want to use this. But now I'm not too sure. <laughs> If I drop the winch now, okay, let's see if that falls down. Oh, no, actually, thank god for the parking brake, I guess. Let's get ourselves just out of rocks. Okay, I guess that's too far. Oh, actually, it isn't, it's barely. ourselves off of dipping and there we go there we go we have some grip which is enough let's stop pulling with the winch we just need to use raw muscle power here uh, let's have a break let's have a look where are we okay so we should just head straight left to the road okay cool it. 
that was slightly difficult. We'll uh, recover the Fleet Star uh, via the map. Let's just get this um, back home. And it only costed me about 120 liters of fuel. I think this has like flats as well. Sorry guys. Honestly, I'm not even fully sure what class of vehicle it is. I think it's like kind of a heavy truck or something. seems, well, it's, of course it's on a lower suspension right now, but it seems somewhat squatter, maybe having a better center of gravity than, uh, and it seems to have a wider uh, chassis, so again, maybe it uh, provides for a less tippy ride, but I don't know, I don't even know the stats for it or the upgrade, so let's take it back to garage, have a look at this baby. thought that having a high winch point compared to you know a lower winch point would cause me so many issues uh, we've saw we've seen with both of our trucks that I don't know why this uh, got highlighted but anyway I was gonna say uh, with both of our trucks we just saw the front of the truck getting lifted up See what? Oh yeah, right, true, 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 because it's asphalt and concrete. Right. And it's actually pulling, trying to pull on all the wheels at the same time. Anyways, what the beauty, it's all yours now, great job. White Western Star reward, got XP, and more importantly we got the truck. Let's do uh, recover. Yes. Uh, let's do local map. Let's do the Fleet Star. <laughs> Poor fleet star. Uh, let's do a recover. And now let's do the white western star. And let's do a recover. Okay, so this is the white western star. Let's uh, have a look at it. It uses the, the same uh, SI6V engines with the optional Westline V6. In which, in which do I have the Westline V6? I know for sure we have the on the Westline V6 and something in the Fleet Star. Hmm. No, actually, it's we don't we don't. It's in Alaska. Okay. Cool. Anyways, uh, so it uses the same uh, power as the Pay Star. Uh, as the sorry, the Fleet Star gearbox. It does have you share the gearboxes for the rest of the truck line. The rest of the heavy duty truck line. Okay, I do have the race suspension for it. We found quite a few upgrades for this truck. It does feature off-road tires. Yeah, I guess, look, uh, they're the same price, the 43s and the 47s. So I think there, there is something to be said about having smaller wheels when you want to be less bouncy. So anyway, there's just, uh, we have the money to spare. Let's uh, kit this out and see how it looks. Uh, Extended medium, let's sell this. Let's sell the stock tires on this. A differential lock. Okay, we also have differential lock on this, cool. Uh, let's sell. 
Ooh, that's a huge one. Well, it's uh, in, at the next rank. For a moment, it just has a stock air filter. Uh, engageable wheel drive, of course. Okay, so this is the truck itself. So, let's see how it compares uh, straight up. It's an A part weight, B, B plus durability, B plus fuel consumption. So, for our Fleet Star, it's an S part weight, an A minus durability, and the B plus fuel consumption. Hmm. Uh, it has lower, I mean, uh, its off-road tires max are 45s. 45s, right? Yeah, 45s, let's double check. I think, yeah, 45s are its max, 42s to 45s. Right. And this is 43s to 47s, right? So this actually is, uh, can provide me with something I can't do with the other truck. Okay, whatever, let's just uh, put the biggest for here. Rank 12 for chains as well. And, oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to upgrade the engine for this. So, the Fleet Star has the same, 21,000 T. Yeah, it has. So, now we can uh, straight up compare. So, it's S, A minus, B plus, S, A minus, yeah, so I think this truck is outright heavier with the benefit of fitting bigger wheels. Hmm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna. You know what? We'll just keep it. We have the money. We, we don't need it. Um, we don't need the money. We can just keep this uh, and take it on a few missions just to have a look and see how it, how it works. Uh. Sure, whatever. Cool. Sadly, you cannot take these off. That'd be nice. Oh, you can take the... Of course, because we bought it, but you cannot take the stock wheel fenders off. Sure, why not? Let's keep something that's lower, to be fair. And whatever, some solid rims here. Anyways, um, this was the recovery for the White Western Star 4964. We're going to be using it to, uh, for a few of these uh, missions uh, around the area and get the feel for it, see if it's uh, any better, any stronger, uh, if it just feels better or different than our other trucks. Anyways, that was it for this episode, guys. If you like uh, this series, if you like this episode, please like, subscribe, share, all that good YouTube stuff. It really helps me a lot. I am uh, posting these up to this point. I posted one of one episode daily, so uh, you can totally fit that in into your uh, morning uh, coffee routine or whatever you guys do, and whenever you listen to this content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.